out, but unfortunately Bungie opted not to release a PC version of it just yet. But don't fret too much. If you want a killer sci-fi shooter to play on your PC while you pretend Destiny doesn't exist, then you can consider some of these picks. You know, while you mutter to yourself about who wants to play an FPS on console anyway. I know you've probably heard plenty about this one already, but if you like competitive shooters on new and exciting planets, then Titanfall is a solid PC pick. It's all about the fast-paced team-based multiplayer element, and the two games share a lot of similar competitive modes like Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and whatever they've decided to call the mode where you control points. The sci-fi element is kicked up a notch with giant mechs, jetpacks, and smart guns that aim for you, among other sweet futuristic features. It doesn't have Destiny's class system exactly, but you can still outfit your pilot with different weapons, perks, and abilities. And there are three different types of titans to pick from and customize. So while your Destiny playing buds are talking about whether they picked warlocks, hunters, or titans, you can tell them about your own titans. The big people bearing metal kind, that is. If you weren't all that keen on the cooperative element of Destiny, you may want to try your hand at the story-heavy and very cool Dead Space. The sci-fi and space link is obvious, and although you'll be trading Destiny's four main enemy alien races for a bunch of necromorph variants, they're still plenty threatening and dynamic. The enemy variety forces you to be flexible when engaging in combat. That is, assuming you'd like to come out on top in enemy encounters and keep your insides inside. Dead Space forces you to be more clever about your shooting. For example, headshots won't cut it. The game asks you to dismember arms and legs with precision to stop the baddies, whose behavior can change completely on a dime, or they can even spawn more or less than friendly friends. The enemies in this game are terrifying, so if you want to shoot creepy space aliens, Dead Space is a great game to do that with. As for a game that emulates the single player and co-op campaign structure of Destiny, Borderlands 2 is your best bet. You've got six different classes to choose from and three different skill trees in each to mix it up even further. There's drop-in co-op, bazillions of different guns to loot, and plenty of different enemies to shoot. Both Destiny and Borderlands are basically futuristic first-person dungeon crawlers, and you can make the argument that Borderlands could offer you more than Destiny right now thanks to its nine major expansion packs, adding up to countless hours of shooting space people in the face. Unless you're totally hung up on a serious shooter experience, Borderlands offers an awful lot of fun and silliness, which is super refreshing. Last up, it's my favorite combination of space, class-focused gameplay, and story awesomeness out there. You should probably play Mass Effect again. If you've never played it before, my envy for you is off the charts. But even if you have, this remains one of the coolest sci-fi experiences in gaming. An entire galaxy is at your fingertips with loads of different worlds to explore to the beat of a killer soundtrack. Mass Effect is a cover-based shooter wrapped up in an RPG with an awesome story about fighting for mankind, just like Destiny. Sure, there's some frustrating Mako exploration bits and cookie-cutter side quest maps in the first game, but its excellent class system feeds into its dynamic combat that incorporates things like traditional soldiery shootiness, to biotic space magic powers, to hacking robots and making them do your bidding, depending on how many of those things you decided you liked. When it comes to sci-fi shooters in space, Mass Effect has more than enough features to satisfy any Destiny cravings you might have. Also, romanceable party members, since that really rounds off any sci-fi shooter experience. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for great sci-fi shooters on PC and let me know whether you prefer saving mankind on PC or console. I'll be back next week, but leave me your thoughts until then. Bye.